Hello everyone! In this video, we will show you about our unique selves and lifestyles. Let's begin with Shorob Dev. Hello, I am Shorob Dev and I represent myself as a disciplined boy. A very good morning to everyone. Well, the day starts bright and early for me, maybe catching up on some sleep. I grab a quick breakfast and a cup of coffee to kickstart my day. Once I am energized, it's off to classes. I have many good friends at the university. I usually meet up with my friends at the campus. We swap stories about the day, share study tips and sometimes even plan our next football match. We will share a good laugh and discuss our classes. Today I have a couple of interesting lectures in the morning. Today we are diving into object oriented programming, one of my favorite subjects. Even though I am a student of CSE department, don't know why I have no interest in coding. But at the same time, I truly love working in the electronics lab. After class, in the quiet moments, the resonant chords of guitars accompany our brain, creating a melodic escape from the academic hustle. Well, I enjoy playing football a lot. As the afternoon approaches, the anticipation build up. I check my football gear and get ready for an action-packed game with my friends. And I represent an obedient boy. Being away from my family, usually I can't wake up hearing my mother's voice like my other friends. So I set a virtual alarm using mobile phone to get out of bed, which always annoys me. But my dreams always remind me of her and to tell me that if you want to touch me, you have to leave your bed so on. That's why I never late to leave my bed. First things first, morning are crucial. After waking up, I start my day with good toothbrushing session and then head to the bath to freshen up. A healthy breakfast follows to kick start my day. Classes, coding, and problem solving take off a significant chunk of my day. It's challenging but incredibly rewarding. Once classes are done, I head back home and learning doesn't stop there. I spend extra time working on coding projects, staying committed to my goal of becoming a skilled programmer. And of course, everyone needs a break. When I feel bored or need a mental refresh, I turn to my trusty float. It's my way of taking a step back and creating something beautiful. Now let's talk holidays. It's not all about coding. I am a football enthusiast too. Playing football is not just a hobby. It's a great way to unwind and stay active. I am Arith Choudhury. I represent a principal boy. Hi. Today I am going to block my daily life. I woke up 6 am when the alarm rang. After the waking up, I freshened up and have breakfast because I have to attend my class 8.30 am. Now I am leaving for the university. The weather is very cold but I need to attend the class in time. I have reached the university and going to class with my friends. At the university, I complete all the lecture come attentively. Then I spend some time with my chair group and discuss with them many topics about programming. The class has just ended and now we are leaving campus for home. In the evening is my study time. In this time, I do code, complete my assignment and report for the next day. And then I complete my dinner and go to bed for sleep and prepare for the next day. Thank you. And I do represent a sleepy man. No matter what I do to get up early, I will be failed each time. But when it is a matter of football, I'm always in. Perhaps I may be late at classes. Ah, uh, that's embarrassing, but still, I won't be late at the crowd. 
and I am a long streaker. Whether I maintain a routine or not, I do not forget lengthening my streaks such as Duolingo, Code Forces, or maybe Snapchat. By nature, I might be an introvert, but still I am the most active when I am with the friends. The term is like ambi ambivert, right? And I am the penny pincher guy in this squad. Let's go to Let's go. Then let's hire a taxi. Why? We should walk there. Walk? What? Are you mad? Uh, I'm still confused. What's wrong? Did I say anything wrong? And I'm extremely addicted to tea. Pardon me, but this has to be said in Bengali. It's cha. This cha and so can identify myself. Almost two in the morning and roughest part of the story begins with a family emergency. As usual, he is going through stuffs. Earlier that day, I went on a trip with my varsity mates. A lot of fun went around. Got rain stuck. It was heavily raining. Maybe the nature was also kind with us for the 31st of the January. You know the context, right? Woke up early in the morning with the noise of Coco and Molo barking at each other, the adorable and energetic duo. But someone seems not to be very happy with the fact that the doggos get to play around the house, but she doesn't. Was almost 25 minutes late for my 10 m plus, but I can never miss a mirror fee. The digital electronics lab has always been our comfort lab, but the data structure lab, I mean, duh. Due to some unavoidable circumstances, the numerical method lab was postponed in the very last moment. Fingers crossed, we were extremely sad to hear the announcement. Someone reminded me of a due assignment in the very last moment. Had to finish it up ASAP. With all these rushes and these pressures, someone wise once said, What is this life full of care if you have no time to stand and stare? I was motivated and decided to go on a trip, on a street food date actually, with my friends. I enjoyed a lot, had a lot of fun. But the moment you are left alone, those sad vibes encounters again. Even burning away all those sad old memories doesn't even help. But football does win for a good match, played hard, scored a hat-trick and celebrated like. How do you know if it's a good day? Generally, a good day ends up with a warm cup of coffee or maybe a mint lemon and some flowers given by someone specific. No matter how unique we are or act like one, but we are all the same inside, dead or broken. But whenever we get a chance to cheer up, we are never missing that.